Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do a JavaScript tutorial on free code camp. This one's called Iterate with JavaScript Loops for Loops. So the while was also a loop we did previously, and there's also another type of loop, and that's called for loop. And it's used to repeat multiple codes until it satisfies a certain condition. And in certain cases, you want to use a while loop. In certain cases, you want to use a for loop. So the for loop, we can look at an example to understand the syntax. So this for loop, we, there's a first parameter here. What this one's called is that is the initialization statement. And it's executed one time only before the loop starts. And it is typically used to define and set up your loop, loop variable. Okay, so we're starting with i and we're setting equal to zero, okay? And then the second condition, b, is the condition statement. The second parameter, I mean, is the condition statement. And it's evaluated at the beginning of every loop iteration and while, and will continue as long as it evaluates to true. So it's similar to the while loop, and this is what happens. It checks for the while loop. It checks for this condition inside of it, and then it will keep executing until this is false. And then the final expression is executed at the end of each loop iteration so, and prior to the next condition. So once we do this, once we do whatever we have inside the code, it's gonna do something to the setup. And here's an example, we're initializing i equals zero and the condition is i is less than five, and then we're gonna increment i every time we do this code. And then our array will now have the value zero, one, two, three, and four. So now we want to use a for loop to push the values one through five into my array. So we can just do for var i, and it starts off at one. i is less than or equal to five. And then i plus plus, so we can increment each one. And now we can do my array dot push. I. And that's all for this one. Thank you so much.